altar, she supposed. And on it was Hector. Is the throne empty? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed? Off with his head. You got me going in circles. All right, let's get right into it. This is the Primo Dirt Podcast. The and we got Primo Dirt Podcast. Who do we got, John? Today we have our regulars, which is... The Miranda Brothers, me, Randa Brothers, Danny and Steve, say what's up. What's up? What up? And then we have uh, Johnny Peace and the creator, David Persley. Special guest today, we have Slumdog, Slumdog um, and Big Game James. Yo. And a little bit of background, say what's up, fellas, to the mic. Say anything you want. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Slumdog by trade is a scientist. Big Game James is an entrepreneur, and I've so been worse. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's fine. Fine. I'll what, take it. What What do you entrepreneur lately? He sells weed. <laughs> <laughs> He's my dealer. And He's, body. I, I did. Um, He's done it. And done then, it. And it's and then good. Slum, huh? And then Slum, what what what's what do you work on? Oh, I'm unemployed right now. Yeah, but I'm I mean not, by I'm trade. Yeah. yeah. He's a scientist. He's a scientist. Like real unemployed. Really? Chemist. Okay. Chemist. Hit me up more on that wave. <laughs> Wait, are you, not, wait, are you really a chemist? <laughs> yeah. I was. For like I have a question years. about uh, chemistry. Yeah, Here right. we go. Why can't anybody bring back the uh, Quaalude? Probably yeah, what's up with the Quaalude? Class one scheduled drugs. So it's a but government, so it's is government. heroin and everything else. Yeah, well, I mean, well, well, why is no one making class. the Quaaludes anymore? There's got to be someone out there that Politics. knows the formula, Politics. right? Yeah. Has anybody I'll, here I'll had a quail? No, no they were they they yeah, disappeared after yeah. the eighties, early nineties. The cost factor. They were in like Wall Street. No, the, what was, was the movie? Yeah, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street. Street. Wolf of yeah. Wall Street. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I can't believe that nobody can bring that. Another quail lord. Shall love me in the morning. Like, I know politics, it's scheduled, it but so is everything else. The ecstasy, heroin. It's all the same schedule. Yeah. Well, how much are you willing to pay for it, Danny? Huh? I say, I'll pay yeah, for it. I, I, I would want to try that. Do you know the formula? I'll look it up now. He's going to find a quaalude. Dude, this guy's going to ask. Next podcast. He's unemployed. I'm telling you. on quaaludes. So if anybody knows, put it in the comment section. Yeah. Where can Danny get quaaludes? Yeah, besides Scarface. Besides the 80s. We have a time machine. In the 70s. So let's give a setting on what's going on right now. Right now, today. Are recording? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just Thanks for interjecting that. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, you're just recording? <laughs> Let's, so, so the, the, the insurrection happened. We talked about that last time. Hold on a second. Today is New Year's. Oh, yeah. Lunar New Year's. Oh, yeah. Lunar New Year's. Lunar That's New Year. a good thing. But did they get replaced? The year Steve of the Steve brought up that what, did it, that get replaced with the same Chinese New Year? Uh, same thing? I think it's the same thing, but yeah. since it says Lunar New Year on the iPhone, the that's what thing? everybody's going to call it. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's called I, Tet, right? Yeah. 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 Or for Vietnamese, yeah. Tet Festival. Vietnamese. Yeah. Chinese but it's Chinese. 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 You're the ox, man. Yeah. You're the ox. There's no politically nice. incorrect way to say it. It's Chinese New Year's, right? Yeah. There's, uh, there's nothing wrong well, with that. I mean, I'm not offended by it. Do I rook a Chinese? <laughs> you don't rook <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, we can I was, say Chinese I coronavirus kind of, or whatever. Yeah, the China, China virus. It's yeah, the kung yeah. flu. Yeah. Maybe that's the why. kung flu. Kung flu is the best iteration of that virus. Yeah, I guess what 1969 there was there was uh, the Hong Kong flu and it took out a bunch of people in the U S. Yeah, and they didn't, they didn't close. Yeah, they didn't close much. They called it the Hong Kong flu because it yeah. came from China as well. Yeah. That was the same year we had Woodstock. Apparently there was a pandemic nah, during Woodstock, and I just found out about this this year. But those yeah. are just hippies. So. Yeah. <laughs> no one cared if the hippies yeah. got sick. <laughs> this year, 2021. Dirty hippies. Or Wait, when did uh, Bruce Lee die? 2020. Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say <laughs> the, the Hong 80s. Kong flu. <laughs> <laughs> I th- but I thought- it's. I thought that was in the late seventies. I know. Was I it late 70s? Maybe I'm making a, a, we'll look a it up. not serious question. What's that? A serious we'll run a banner right here at the bottom. When Bruce Lee died. Look at the. Yeah, yeah, I'd say late seventies. <sighs> yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. So, when... so uh, what do you guys want? Chappelle just came out with a new special, a yeah, new a right. new segment. It's not even really, really even I special. Seen it. But he he got them to to pay him millions for his for the for Chappelle show. show. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, they were paying him nothing and just raking in the money. And and all he did was ask was people to boycott and not watch it on Netflix. He never got paid for it. And yeah. Netflix said, no, I think it was HBO. Oh, HBO it was, yeah, didn't it get paid HBO. from HBO, but Netflix yeah. ended up paying HBO's Net- tab. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, because they they wanted well, to run this. I know here. Netflix want, uh, uh took it off at at his request. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Be- that's why he likes Netflix. I think like, Comedy they, Central coughed they... up the money, so now he's good with Comedy Central. They're buddies again. Okay. What's it called? 
No, it's just Chappelle show, like the old Chappelle show. <laughs> Chappelle right. show. Oh, he, okay. they, they were yeah. um, just yeah. to recap for people that, that people might not know. Um, they, they were they started re-releasing the Chappelle show on HBO and, and Netflix and paying him zero for it. Yeah, and Comedy right. Central never paid him. And and a contractually, they, they I'm not sure if they contractually like had to pay him, had yeah. to or because had not he to. walked away. Yeah, because he walked away, but it was like, but they still profited off profit off of his property. image, his his like, yeah, his yeah, his but ideas. Netflix paid him. Yeah, and I hope I hope other people that were involved with the show got paid as well, not just Chappelle. I hope only he got paid, or, or what <laughs> John all said, all them motherfuckers. <laughs> and me, I want to get paid. <laughs> I watched it. Yeah. it I bootlegged really, it though. I didn't want to. I didn't want to steal it from I, them. I so emailed I just in an it. idea that they didn't use. <laughs> Actually, I think we did. The Battle of the Dogs. <laughs> yeah, we, we, that was Mencia's show. Yeah. Um, what happened to Mencia? Is he still doing anything? No, he got ousted because he just stole. Yeah, him and Amy Schumer, once they got caught stealing jokes, it pretty much that kills your career a lot. It took a lot of catching, though. What's that? It took Not so while. much Amy Schumer. Yeah, it took a while. She kind of just blew it over, and now she's on the Super Bowl commercial stuff. Oh, well, she's, yeah. I mean, she's still getting, don't get me wrong, she's still getting work, but it, it hurts her artistically. She, like when she with goes the people who pay attention, yeah, yeah. There's like, a lot well, who like, don't pay attention. But I mean, her inner yeah. circle comedians. Yeah, I just found out. Yeah, yeah comedians. They don't. They don't take that lightly. They Isn't, get pretty pissed about that. Amy Schumer's like one of them girls that even if she was skinny, her she's chubby. <laughs> you know those girls that can never get rid of like. Well, a she chubby has like a face? chipmunk face. Like her, yeah. teeth, her teeth look like chipmunk teeth, so it just gives her like a little. So she just yeah. looks yeah, like she, one she, of has be- she has beady eyes. Yeah, she has beady eyes and like little. I'm not against beady eyes. Yeah, beady eyes. I have those. <laughs> but I mean, she's she's funny. The st- a lot of the stuff she doesn't steal is pretty damn funny. You know her older stuff, and but her she, delivery is decent. And her delivery, I definitely is good, like her older which stuff is more than her really current hard. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But a lot yeah. of her stuff was stolen she's from her changed. TV show and her stand up. She stole a lot like of directly. Stuff. Yeah, from like there's a video, it's like a 15 minute video where you're just like, damn, that's that's pretty. She stole. But if you look, skits. if you looked yeah, hard skits. enough, I bet you there's a lot of recycled material. Well, there's a there's a whole special about that where is it is it subconscious and you just think you made it up, but you did hear a comedian late one night and you just forgot about it, or, or is you it just think you're funny, think you do joke? it because it happened yes. to Dan Cook and Louis C.K. Yes. There's a whole thing where Dan Cook swears that. He kind of just thought of the same joke because he came to the same conclusion. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole thing about it. Yeah, I think it's hard to tell. But sometimes, some of it's just blatantly stolen, like yeah. word for word verbatim. Yeah. And those ones are easier to spot. But yeah, a lot of it's like, dude, there's only so many things you can joke about, in, in a sense. Sex, yeah. whatever. And you're going to come across yeah. similar And if you make it your own, jokes. you know, with your own delivery, then yeah, you, but there, people laugh. It, there's it's a, funny. There's an account of men steal this, like just stealing like yeah, yeah, full yeah. on just changes. Well, he them. just steals from all his openers. He gets a bunch of openers yeah. and then he steals other we, He steals their acts. <laughs> we sent him a, Oh yeah. We sent him Men's an email Stila. one time to try to get it, see if he was invo- wanted to be involved in a video game project we were working on. Mm-hmm. Battle of the Gods. Carlos mm-hmm. Mencia? Yeah, yeah. Mencius. And he did a whole show on it. <laughs> And he even yeah. ended with one of our cakers was we had um, Allah since you yeah, can't it, make a rendition. It sounds like a not true thing or a weird thing, yeah. but we we had we sent him sc- like basically uh, we sent him a bunch of pictures, our, our and designs, the thesis, and yeah, the design, our, yeah, and 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 dialogue for all the characters. Mm. And he literally used like that show literally used what we wrote down like oh really and it yeah. wasn't anything to do with comedy so in the end it wasn't funny because the punchline was since you can't do a rendition of Allah Allah yeah. comes in the invisible man and he punches and beats up all the other gods right yeah and, that, and since that was the punchline it just the show went nowhere it was not funny you really should have just gave us money to make a video time. game but it was it was validation that that, that there was an idea there that yeah. somebody's found value see in. I don't like his delivery Oprah didn't care I, I never, I never really <laughs> liked his want delivery, to no, but he care. did one funny skit to me where it was like a parody of The Sopranos, but they were Mexican mm-hmm. instead of Italian. Yeah. yeah, that was funny, but that's because I was a huge Sopranos fan. I think though he got really kind of burnt when they started telling everybody he's German and Honduran. He's not even yeah. Mexican. And his, his name is, is like real Ned name. Niedermeyer yeah. or yeah. something funny like that. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Like, it, it, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Niedermeyer. It, it was, it, it, he has a super funny like German sounding name or something like that. But he ended up getting like Cholo bodyguards and stuff, which made it even laughable in the back side of everything. Mm-hmm. The back side. 
<laughs> talking about well, asses. even him, him, he tried to he tried to like Butts. mimic a, a slight Mexican accent to oh, yeah, yeah and that's come across. Thing. That's that's what, what he people did. say. It yeah. was an act though, because what about he doesn't that? Really talk like that. What about he really that? has a British accent. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and a good day to you, sir. What about um, I soiled me knickers. I soiled me. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, what's his name, Larry the Cable Guy? He doesn't talk like that in real life. He might. No, no he doesn't. No, he, he walks doesn't. around like, hey, but guys, I mean, he may not say all those dumb slogans. Quite Jersey and shit. But th- there's like a there's like a you know gray area where y- you know that Pee Wee Herman is not Pee Wee Herman, so you know that's a character. Yeah. But yeah. The, but Larry the Cable Guy is somewhere in the middle where like maybe yeah because Jeff Foxworthy think, talks like that. He does. Yeah. It, you kind of buy it as an Larry. accent. They but the Larry the, the Cable Guy doesn't walk around in overalls. Oh no. Like, oh no. Just Wait, that's a character. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, which that, is fine. I mean, that accent blatant. might be there. I mean, he might walk into KFC and be like, "Am I the number two? It's it's kind of maybe he has some roots. If you're gonna lie to somebody. You don't let the lie last. You do a wink, wink. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. when you're lying to somebody and they start to believe you a little, you even have to give them another tell. Like you're all mm-hmm. wink, wink, and they don't get it. And you're all, oh, 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 like see, a, oh. Alec Baldwin's uh, girlfriend. You've been he didn't do that. that story. Yeah, I wink, winked at her. Alec Baldwin's bit. girlfriend, she caught a bunch of shit because she's been pretending to be from like Spain her whole life. <laughs> really? She's born like in <laughs> Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, she pretty much like told people she kind of grew up in Spain and they realized she didn't. That's some Andy Kaufman shit though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, she was faking an accent. Act, but wow. and acting like she didn't quite understand oh, what you were saying. Shit. She like was faking English. an accent in her real life. Yeah. yeah. Like walking around. Like yeah. everyone. I would have said I was Jamaican. She was from Spain. <laughs> Yaman. Yeah, her name is Ilaria. Ilaria. Yeah, but, but it's really like just really Hilaria. something. It's Jill. Like, it's not even that. I think it's something else. Like Hillary. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Jillery. <laughs> so, oh, it's a so, mistake. So let's, let's uh let's bring up the impeachment. Yeah. Does anybody think? Okay, that hold he's on. Get time out. So I, the the one thing I want to say. Hold on, Steve. To preface hold on. That. It's bad hold on. Lawyers, shut up. Bad lawyers for Trump. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Very bad lawyers. Just to preface. Wait, wait, wait. That. Hold on again. <laughs> Before we get started. Okay. I have not heard much about the impeachment trials. Like you don't, I haven't heard anything on, the, on the radio, in the on the news. Like I haven't heard, you know, I haven't seen anything on Facebook. It's on the news or whatever. They cover social it. media. It just. Started. I'm sure they do, but I haven't. I it hasn't been like overtly in your face to me. I haven't, yeah, you know, maybe not. You have to find the channel. Like, I forgot. I forgot it. that they were supposed to be doing it. But it's way. been it's been on for they're, four days exactly because they're torn between the that's news media. The stock thing. The stocks thing. Happened. Yeah, there's some things <laughs> taking its place, and on the top of that, because they're throwing out like uh, diversionary tactics. But on top of that, they're, and he they're torn Twitter. between two things. <laughs> One, they're still talking about Trump and they want to phase him out. And so mm-hmm. like, ugh, this fucker's still stuck in here doing impeachment during an impeachment trial. And I don't care if he gets impeached or not, really. I don't care. Just stop talking about him. Fuck well, him. They shouldn't do fucking let people in prisons do books, too. You know? The, uh, it's the same thing. I don't care about Richard Ramirez. You said it was a good thing? Fuck oh, him. the documentary. I hope he didn't get any money from that. Well, he's dead, but he's I hope he's dead, that. fool. But I don't care. I don't want the Ramirez is getting he anything. He died before he could even be executed. <laughs> he died. He died really yeah. early on. The the documentary uh, pretty much strictly highlighted the victims and the investigation and the detectives uh, and the detectives. It really had very little to do with him. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate it when they write but a book. I, in I, prison, I, I see John's know? point though. Is it's, it's on but some at some level it feels ex- it may be exploitive of people that are still alive or families that are still that too you know, you know? grieving yeah. I agree I don't want to watch that part of it but that's with, sort with, of also what documentaries are They're yeah exploitive. I guess and it was interesting if the masses believe it's interesting then maybe mm-hmm. it's true like God right it might have been more tasteful if if they did it like an, another twenty years from now but. Maybe so. I mean, it, it was, was a long time, time ago. Yeah. Thirty years ago. It feels like Jack the Ripper. Like nobody feels like it's severely exploitive. <laughs> but he's so well, much we, dope. Yeah. Yeah. But we nobody like he remembers hold any on. Of the victims personally. Yeah. But we like movies like Jojo Rabbit. Dude, Hell yeah. Hilarious. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a great movie. I really like that. Get the German Shepherd. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a great movie. That and I was surprised they were movie. able to come out with it. In this time, yeah. I really yeah. thought it was going to be heavily boycotted and whatnot, but it kind of just went under the radar. Exactly. I, I like that d- the director, the message, he's the overall message. you know what, that gives us hope. They don't care about the overall message, man. It's all partisan shit. Some people, what some, some, you some want, people did give us some bad publicity. They were pissed off about it at first because they're like, Hitler is not a comical character. Right. It's like, yeah, but it is though. Through the mind of a child. <laughs> yeah, it is he's, though. You know, he could be time. funny as fuck. Haven't you seen The Great Dictator by Charlie Chaplin? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what what was that one German movie where Hitler comes back 
Like he comes back to nowadays times and then tries to take over. Oh, yeah. look who's oh, back. Look, look who's back. back. But he can't figure out the internet. So he's that like was a weird. movie. Yeah. He's in the library and in the librarians trying to give him an email name. He's all, well, I want the Hitler, you know, or whatever. So, so it's right. It's, it's already taken. taken. How can it be taken? Yeah. You know, he's all pissed off. <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh that, my God. that movie flew yeah, under the radar. You know what? The cancel culture every once in a while has to just be quiet if it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think if the cancel culture saw that movie, they wouldn't try to cancel it. <laughs> oh, if, they're weaponized. Like, it was did you see the most recent movie. one with uh, Gina Carano from yeah. The Mandalorian? She got Do you know the fired. whole story with what's going on no, with her? No, no, tell no. Me. I don't know. She okay, got so big, by the way. She refused to, what, say, say. say pronouns for transgender people? No, no. That's it's not what they're else. trying to get her on right now. Currently, she put out a tweet saying, hey, you shouldn't demonize your neighbors. And they're not being Republican or something, right? Well, she's saying that on both sides, yeah. but they're skewing yeah. it as she's defending Republicans. Therefore, she must go. So huh? they I don't get it. I don't get it. She just basically tweeted saying, hey, people shouldn't demonize other people because of the way political yeah. culture yeah, is outside exactly right now. What exactly did she tweet, though? Oh, I don't remember it verbatim. That's, that's like a all bad she time tweeted? to be a Republican. What's up? Or that's like that. all Maybe. she tweeted. Like that. no, Mostly, well, that's what she tweeted, and other people have tweeted uh, similar things on on that same line of thought in that cast. Yeah. But because she's somehow saying it more skewed towards, hey, don't treat Republicans this way. They're saying, hey, you're on the wrong team. You're gonna get it off the show. Well, it, but it, she it, sounds it, right it, for saying what she's saying. I don't know. I'm well, she still sounds not... completely right. Nothing controversial about, hey, don't treat your neighbors badly. Yeah, you don't demonize. Well, let's, let's, don't let's be a do sore no, winner we'll either. Exactly you know? Vocabulary she used. Uh, well, I don't know. They, or John, Republican? maybe you can pull it up. Are we doing yeah, that? We'll pull it up. <laughs> I have it. Yeah, we'll pull it up. Later. So like, so it's a bad time to be Republican. So or, when they were first trying to cancel her. Republicans or something like that. Well, basically, if you're on the Republican team. They kind of want to get rid of you, of course, uh, by yes. smearing and yeah. slander. Yeah. So yeah. she's saying, "Hey, kind of middle ground." She's she's not saying anything controversial. It's middle ground. Hey, don't demonize your certain neighbors because they have certain yeah. political views. Why? That's all. Many of her cast members have said similar similar things. They're f- but the first time okay. they tried to cancel the her was because right, yeah, she wouldn't use the proper pronouns for transgender people. Right? Oh, was that uh, it? That was the, the that was like a, a few months back. Yeah, they were possibly. like cancel her, and then like I don't think it's mandatory to learn okay. the pronouns. I really it. don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just he or she, or if there's, you're like, oh, but it's a he. There's certain human, generations. Human, human. Yeah, there's certain human. generations that human. are just older and they don't want to learn new things. Yeah. Now, but if, if that I'm generation gonna, was like, fuck transgender people, yeah. then that, that's when you go after them. That's when you cancel them. Yeah, yeah, Not just because they're like, I'm confused. I don't yeah. know what this new but, gender is. But, we have the tweet. Exactly. We have the tweet, right? No, yeah, yeah, you you tweet. nailed it right there. They're we expecting have... people to not be in the culture to know what's going on at all times. And those people didn't grow up with any of that. Right. If people this don't pay attention to social to media, they wouldn't even know what pronouns are there. Yeah. Unless, but these people are expecting everybody to read their minds and know what they, they want. And well, I the, think that's the big problem. The, the, younger, really, the young culture is like raised with the pronouns, and they all know what they are, and they expect everyone else to, to already know. I still too. don't. There's new ones. Yeah. They're coming up with new ones. Yeah. Like, are you they, keeping but, up with them? But the young people all stop. know. Like, they know, because, and they don't know that Because they're know. interested. Are you planning for the future? Are you sitting at home right now watching one of our commercials at 3 in the morning on a Tuesday? Of course you are. You're an alcoholic piece of shit. But act now and one of our operators can assist you in exploring the possibility of amusement park ride operators. Yes, here at Cal Weaver's amusement park ride operator and carnival game assistant, you can learn all the secret ins and outs of the amusement park industry. Work your way up to mascot or corn dog vendor. The sky's the limit at Cal Weaver School of Roller Coaster and Carnival Ride Operator Assistant. Ask one of our many happy former students who was able to receive work just three to four months after completing his classes. Yeah, job's all right. I'm, uh, I'm working with the uh, Union Brotherhood, local number 428. They're okay. It's a good group of guys. Uh, you know, some good stuff happening. A lot, a lot of good single moms out here. And, uh, you know, I, I just keep doing what I'm doing. I, I just working on my music career and, and, and so Cal Weaver's amusement park school of roller coaster ride operators we will teach you hand signals safety protocols and how to speak so fast that nobody will understand what you're saying we'll even teach you the exit greetings folks please make sure you keep your hands up when you exit and enjoy the rest of your day over the tent of these folks in the back at Cal Weaver's Amusement Park School of Ride Operators and Carnival Assistant Game Operators, you too can learn all the secrets of the pros. Call now. Operators are standing by.
The altar, she supposed. And on it was Hector. Is the throne empty? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed! Off with his head. You got me going in circles. All right, we're back. We're back. And I, I want to bring up three random topics and then just pick whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm down um, with that. So in video games news. I picked that one. <laughs> Blizzard is 30 years old as of a few days ago. Nice. Cyberpunk yeah, 2077. Really for Chinese New Year's. For Chinese New Year, yeah. Uh, Cyber, Cyberpunk 2077, there's a ransom on the stolen code from um, from a hacker. Ooh. And Mark, Mark Cuban... Hit, uh, for uh, was it basketball? Yeah, the Mavericks. Blizzard. Yeah, he owns the Mavericks. 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 He's yeah. a billionaire, and he's a yeah, he owns investor. the Mavericks. He wants to get around the controversy of the anthem by having no anthem. Wow, well, yeah, I, I read I, that or heard that. I don't think we get rid of the anthem. Just like I don't think we mm-hmm. destroy the statues. So, like all those Southern generals or whatever, you take the statues, you put them in a museum. The anthem mm-hmm. is the anthem. You just kind of have to have that because we have a flag. We have to have an anthem. We have to have. There's all these rules. We have to have a state bird. And then we have to have the bald eagle, whatever. We're Ski. patriotic. Right? We're patriotic. Well, the funny thing Wait, about so which one are we picking? What's that? What out top? of the three, right? You want to pick one out of the three topics? Oh, yeah. Well, what, what's the other? What oh, those are the those are the, 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 the three. I want to talk really about things. the flag thing. Personally. Okay, let's talk the about the, the So anthem? you got video games? I got. I wanted video games, but <laughs> that was real interesting when you're talking about um, Mark Cuban. I watched him a lot on that one show. What's it called? Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Yeah, Shark Tank. Yeah. And that's where I, I, I learned smart. about him first. And he's cool. He started as like a yeah. Thai salesman or something, just doing yeah. street sales door to door. College student. He's College student. Smart. Yeah. So he's a success story, but you can't get rid of the anthem. It's kind of weird. And I think he, even inside his mind, because he's, he's, he's obviously a very smart individual, possibly genius. He knows he's not going to get rid of the anthem. Yeah. Well, it was a smart thing to, to try to do, I guess, but he... he bet wrong and now it's like a controversy yeah yeah if you own Somebody a basketball a team idea. and you bet wrong yeah. like he probably just tried to replace it with some other uh, patriotic song and thinking nobody would notice <laughs> was it <laughs> like uh, they're lee, not going to kneel to god bless america <laughs> no no you gotta throw on some uh is it lee greenwood i'm proud, proud to be an american, american. Yeah, best song ever man yeah. Amazing grace. They yeah. close. They close the. It's weird because the bars on post in the military. They close. They end with that song. Well, it's funny because they don't. At least they did in my day. There hasn't been any patriotic songs written since like the you know 1600s, except for Lee Greenwood, which was like in the early 90s. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you know we have Neil Diamond. We come into America. Get, yeah, yeah, I guess. But no yeah. one plays. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess they do play that at like uh, patriotic rallies and stuff. They should. That should be our anthem. Anything Neil Diamond <laughs> can be our anthem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shiloh, when I was young, uh, I used to. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think that's a real song. That's Maybe. not the lyric. Yeah. Uh, it should be. Yeah. So, what's the other thing, Dave? You were talking about. He's on the phone. What was it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, wait, here, hey, Dave's quick. lady. Let's that? give a shout out to his lady on the podcast. Oh, just called him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, here, really, really quick thing about the flag, though. The the thing that started all the controversy was Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick. I can Kaepernick. Say, Kaepernick. I can never say his name. I don't know why. That's right. Kaepernick. He's Polish. I get it. Yeah. Kaepernick. Call him Kaepernick. 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 Yeah. yeah. Kaepernick. Anyways, Polish um, names are very hard. He kneeled during the national anthem, and the, and the funny thing is, he actually asked veterans what the best way to be still be respectful. But protest, you, you know. And they said, happened? you should just maybe kneel. You should maybe just kneel. But how many so, veterans did yeah. he ask? I don't know. Okay. But he asked a hundred. But that's not even my point. The point <laughs> is, in the NFL, the players used to stay in the locker rooms when they played the National Anthem. They didn't even start bringing them out until 9-11, when we went into war with Iraq and Afghanistan and all that. They were trying to find a new way to boost patriotism. So the Department of Defense actually paid the NFL millions of dollars to get the players out of the field. Well, I didn't know that. Wow. Before that, they used to stay in the locker room when they played the National Anthem, and then they oh. got called out. But it's weird that we don't remember that because we all grew up in the 80s. And, I don't watch football. And, yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> I don't yeah, and I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember them being in or out, you know? <laughs> you were still in diapers, guys. <laughs> yeah, but as a veteran, I didn't get veteran. 
I were you offended? Were you, yeah. were you offended? No, not at all. I thought it was okay. I, I'm against black people being beat up by the police. Yeah. And I'm glad somebody was standing up in the limelight. Yeah. And I didn't think it was a big deal, you know? Yeah. I, I didn't think that it was unpatriotic. I thought it was patriotic of him to make a stand in a yeah, free country. Yeah. Do you remember when we were kids and if... Uh, Plus, I was like, Neil to me, motherfucker. Do, do, you remember, <laughs> do you remember when we were kids and if we were if we opened our eyes during praying, you know, before dinner or something? Yeah. You know, like our sister would be like, oh, he opened his eyes during prayer. Well, how'd you know? <laughs> how'd you know? That's, how, that's how people view patriotism these days. It's yeah. like, that guy's not standing up. He's known for the flag. Yeah. That's nationalism. It's not patriotism. I'm going to have to that's, say... That's pointing out who's not being patriotic enough for I'm going, you, you know? I'm going out on a limb, but the right was really mad about that, but the right was also fucking taking over Capitol Hill. <laughs> yeah. So don't you think that was a little more disrespectful? Yeah, they're like, don't... Don't show, you know, don't show you, don't be res- disrespectful that way yeah. and then run into the Capitol. A lot of, a lot of flags Mike got Pence trampled that shit on the walls. Yeah. Hang Mike Pence. <laughs> what would have happened yeah. if, 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 if they nobody got, yeah. reacted to Kaepernick's kneeling? Hold on, hold on. Kneeling? Dude, like, I love nobody, the what ifs. Nobody reacted. Steve's living in the La La Land. Right. If nobody reacted, yeah, it would have been sad. If no right wing, whatever... Well, the the reaction ga- the reaction gave yeah. him power if yeah. the, because he'd been some, doing it for a some. while and nobody was noticing and nobody cared. As soon as they went, the people got offended. He had power at, at that moment. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you ignore shit, yeah. you don't get the power. Yeah, no press is bad press, right? And now he has a, like a, some crazy so that's Nike what, deal. <clears throat> yeah, he has a crazy Nike deal. So the only way we're gonna get this podcast famous and he is have somebody to has football. to say the N word, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do it. <laughs> It's gotta be he the looks bro- too white. It's gotta be the brownest person. Too white. Yeah. Yeah. The, the brownest person. Bro, if you say, "Oh, dude, I got a great story. This is a true story about." Big- a- <laughs> this is about big game, James. So James, we used to play poker a lot. I call him James Pokernot. In fact, still in my phone is James Pokernot. Pokernot. We're gonna play after this, man. We can, dude. That'll be awesome. We actually did a podcast over the. We were talking about it. Remember, we we're doing a podcast over the poker table. This but is garage. It was a long time ago. But check this out. He used to go online and play poker, and he did good. He used to make money that way. But his icon was a black dude. And remember you were telling me about it? You never saw so much racism until your icon you set was a black dude. They thought you were a black dude behind the screen when it was James. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He looks like he's in a Western movie, and he's doing the laundry. He's doing the laundry. You know? It was a very roundabout way of saying something. And they were calling him the N-word, which so that means that you're the only one that's allowed to say it, since you've actually lived the life of a black man. I made made an account on Pokestars, and I put a black avatar, and everyone's talked to me with it. This is all text, by the way. With slang. They're texting with... Ebonics now, yeah, Ebonics, yeah. Now, do yeah. you think these were other black people, or do you think no. they were white people being no. super no. racist? Black people don't have poker. Probably no. not. <laughs> it was white people being super Pro- racist. Most likely. No, it could be okay. anybody could be super Most racist. likely, they, they felt it was okay because there was a black guy at the table. Yeah. And it was hilarious. Hey, as long as you're taking money from them, that's but, all that matters. But though, the right? thing is, if you won money from them and they got pissed, were they cool to you? Yeah, you'd be like, who's my slave? Who's your slave no, now? No, no, no. Oh, where they get, did they get worse the when is, you won? What I'm saying is, dude, if I put an Asian picture on there, I think I would have got a bunch of Asian slang and slurs too. Yeah. But they were actually rude to you. And there was like, you said they dropped the N bomb when they would call you names when they were mad. Oh, it's dude, a place. Dude, shit all the time on life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you been yeah, on live recently, John? <laughs> no. No, he has not. <laughs> Those are the only pronouns that are available. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm white people you. actually say it a lot now. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, to I, be cool or and to be racist. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool and racist. I think that's Those are two a, it's weird. I mean, well, that's always been the case, as far as I remember. And they weren't as comfortable with it as as they are now. Can, can, can anyone here define the word racist? Yeah, in a sense, I there's guess different it. forms, in my opinion. There's degrees. What's the most probably Webster dictionary appropriate definition? Of hating it? somebody because or of their race, with violence. because of their with race. The violence. Yeah, yeah, hating or treating someone different solely because of their race. That, I, that's that would be my. My Isn't definition. one of the key candidates of being racist is you have to believe that your race is actually superior to another race just on basis of race? I don't know. A lot of I times think, people hate their own race. That would be if you hate your own race, more you're racist, racist supremacy. You're, against, you're racist yeah. against your own race. You could be racist. Yeah, I know. I, I know that you could be racist. So, no, and dude, want I know a Jewish guy. Yeah. I know a Jewish guy. Called true self, story. Self hating. In fact, we all know him in here. A lot of us. I know a Jewish guy who has a Nazi symbol on his chest. You what? know. <laughs> Remember. I can't say his name, Jeremy. They did a movie about that. But, um, 
He 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 was actually a Nazi. Yeah, they made a movie, but there's dude, a Ryan had, Gosling movie where he, he's like a Jewish Nazi. But you know what? He had Great, that way movie. before. Yeah, it's true. It happens. People they yeah. start to hate their own race. Or he was a, actually what happened was he was involved, went to jail, and then became part of a Nazi skinhead lowriders kind of deal. I don't know. Kind of like for protection. No, like, do you guys know? No, who no, Rachel he believed. Dolezal is? No, you know who? It, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Just, I just read an article about her. She, yeah, I would say she, she can't comes find work right now. A category similar to what John's talking about. Yeah. No, you're Clyde Bigsby. Clayton uh, Bigsby. Clayton Bigsby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't know. He didn't know. Is that the one where he was blind? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah I remember that. At first, Clayton <laughs> Bigsby just didn't know. So <laughs> but he, he was just but, a regular racist. But, but in the end, he left his wife yeah. because she liked black people. <laughs> <laughs> I think there could be different forms of racism. There's actually people, if, if you. Th- you don't have to think necessarily that your race is better, but or do you think that your race is better if you think somebody else's race is lower? Does that? I mean, if can you, one exist without the other? If you hate your own race, then you don't think your race is better. You hate your own race, and you're racist against your own race. Race, 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 race. race. No, you can if yeah. you actually believe your race is lower or higher than other people's races, just based on race. But what yeah. about I mean, that's like, what is what about race race racist. jokes? What about racial jokes? Because well, some people will say that, but they're like, "Well, I'm not racist," but they'll do like a racial joke here. Well, and racial there. jokes because just, they don't hate people. They're just exactly what you said. They're, they're just, just they're called racist racial jokes. jokes. Yeah, yeah. Racist racial jokes can be Asian jokes, Mexican jokes, white jokes, but they're not racist jokes yeah racist jokes have to have that element of you believing your or a race so, so that's, what's the, that's what you're saying in comedy is, in comedy what's the intent or lower is it that is just funny or is it that you are because that's a racist. the thing i've had people come up that's, to me and tell me like a racist yeah. joke and i'm like god damn it's not even funny that's just like hardcore racist yeah and uh that, but that's yeah, fine but, but i would it was push funny, back but then you'll see a comedian no you would not categorize that racist i would say racial joke yeah. I would say that's a racial joke. Yeah, racial, racial but jokes then you, have been done this. throughout all times. But then yeah. you'll see a comedian, and they're funny, and he could tell like it, a, it definitely can be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like a comedian could tell a racist joke, and it, it you'll find yourself laughing. You'll be like, "Holy shit!" But it's because he was just so funny and so well delivered. Deliver. He kind of yeah. gets a pass. Yeah. Exactly. Like look at like Daniel Tosh. If you watch the Tosh show, Tosh point he has. Tons of racist jokes on that show. Yeah, amazing and show. I don't even way. know. I don't even know if it's on the air anymore because I would think in this climate it just wouldn't be on the air. But um, you, you, follow, you used to follow Tasha a lot, right? I, I used to watch a lot of his stuff because I like it. Yeah, but I, yeah. I don't watch too much TV nowadays, so I don't know. Yeah, me but too. Is he still on TV. I know when I watched him, I watched Tosh Point oh. Yeah, I've I, seen I him don't live. know if that's still going on. I, I've but like seen in his stand up, he was talking about good, how yeah, he's dude, funny. he's real good. He got a, he oh, caught a lot of shit like because he you told a, a, a sensitive oh, joke. Yeah. It wasn't about race. Yeah, Andrew, but he, like, but you he you said, well, Patrice O'Neill is a perfect example. Like he could say a racist thing, and Louis C.K. I heard some banter between them two on a radio show. Louis C.K. said some really really racist shit, and Patrice O'Neill could not stop laughing. Well, it, and, and it's <laughs> just hilarious. Like, well, that. Patrice believed that everyone was actually racist. So if you said you're not, he didn't actually believe you. Yeah, he thought you were a liar. <laughs> so and if you admitted it, then he yeah. actually had a little bit of respect, respect for, for you. you. Every yeah. everybody in in a certain race knows what their pros and cons of their race are. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, Asian people are good at math and they love ping pong. <laughs> you know, white people are really good at taking over the world and tricking motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Mexican people are have really clean lawns and cars, <laughs> and like they know that, right? But then they know my the car's cons. dirty and I don't have a lawn. Yeah, but you're not <laughs> real Mexican. <laughs> I'm a bad Mexican. Uh, but yeah. uh, I, I want to run things something something by you guys, and I don't know if you ever has heard this or tell me if if it's something I'm not representing properly. But so this is a type of racism. I'm not sure that you that you know everyone has heard about. There are people that believe that um, if you're if you're being oppressed by another race you're allowed to hate them. It's not racist if you're the oppressed. No matter what you think, yeah. you can't possibly be racist. I think it's okay but to hate the person, but not the not race. Not the race. That's yeah. a bureaucracy. That's, yeah, I, I that's think so, too. Yeah. But there are actually, um, and I don't know if it expands past black people, but there are some black people who think that nothing they think can be racist if they're being oppressed. No, that's, that's not false. Either. Yeah, that's yeah. false. In this yeah. room, you guys are acknowledging that that's false because racist means racism. We know the definition of it. But the, the, that group, they're actually trying to change the definition of racism and they're changing it to what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oppressed people cannot be racist and therefore uh, only white people currently can be racist because they hold the positions of power. Right. Yeah. Which yeah. I just did. I just showed that. To. Yeah. Right. Anybody can yeah, be racist, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 quit I, it, John. I, I think the oppressed can be racist. I think that's weird to say that they can't be. I think anybody can be racist. Our family is straight from Mexico, and I remember one particular family member was upset when one, one of her kids was dating a black girl. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm saying anyone can have. Was that. she banging? Yeah, yeah, she was. She was. Yeah, I remember. What's her number? This <laughs> <laughs> was like 20 Which years ago. But, you know, um, that's one of my favorite things in the world. When I see an Asian dude with a black chick. I've never seen that. I've seen that. <laughs> it's the yeah, coolest thing that. in the world. <laughs> oh, John, First of all, Mom, I think once or twice pack. I've seen that. All right, all right next week yeah. I'll come back here. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. That's just like watching like a seeing flower, unicorns flower as well. bloom. <laughs> so, you know, John, a baby being born yeah. and then an Asian dude with a black chick. for his world. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, did, did, did your dad get any blowback from, from, from marrying a, a brown girl? No, because he was racist the whole time. Hey, and I fall, I fall uh, under that somewhat, you know, because my stepdad's black, my stepmom's Mexican, my dad's white, my mom's white, right? So I think I could say racist shit. So I do. Yeah, you get a pass for everything. Yeah, yeah I get a pass for everything. But you know what? I just realized something. Half of the time, a motherfucker doesn't know any of that about me. I'm just saying racist shit with no, this white true. face, you know. The tattoos and, help a little bit. Yeah, yeah tattoos. Yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, but, some, uh, but a lot of people think you're he's a poser. Yeah, a lot of too. What I'm mean, pushing back on is uh, yeah, I don't I think you're saying with racist tattoos, shit. I think I you're think saying there's... racial shit. You're right, racial, racial shit. Uh, yeah, I, and I think yeah. people mix that up, man, and they'll call you a racist where yeah. when you're just doing a racial joke. It, yeah, like racial profile. It's funny. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, but stereotype. Racial profile. They. What what I'm saying is. The word racial and racist is like different. There are when you're doing things. something racial and yeah. they claim that to be racist, I think they're uh, not a good faith actor, you know? Yeah. They're not doing oh, But if you're I, I racist, see, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I, see, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. There, there should be a big difference between someone who's fully racist, like a KKK member, and someone that's a little racial. Yeah. Th- I, like think, I think that. Or a lot yeah. of racial. <laughs> Like a that's, taxi, that's, that's my another thing. They like a taxi prejudice. driver that doesn't pull over for black people. Where, where does that fall on the spectrum? Prejudice. prejudice. Scared. He's not saying his racist. Because it's considered, better. It's just considered don't racist. Like that. It's considered racist. But yeah, but, that? Is but that really, racial? he's is just that scared. Racial or <laughs> just prejudice or is that racist? What is? The uh, pulling a, over? a taxi no, driver taxi that driver doesn't pull over for black people. Like you see a black guy waving him down. He's like, oh, he's black. I don't want to. And, and he's like, oh hell no, I'm not getting the fuck out of here. Come again. Come again. Oh no way, bro. He's just scared. What is that? Was that racial or that? I don't know, but I would have to ask. Hey, are you picking him up? Are you not picking him up because of prejudice? Because maybe he picked up black people in the past and he got mugged. Or is he? Or I hate all black people. Or he thinks black people are beneath him. If he thinks black, the black race is beneath him, that would be racist. I don't mean this to be racist or racial, but it's probably just because of the tip. <laughs> I'm just that's saying racist. You know? that's <laughs> racist. <laughs> is it really? That's well, okay. I, I like that's the, sexist. Is that, it's but sexist. what that's about? Sexist for but sure. what about? It's not binary. What about <laughs> if he's <laughs> afraid? What's up? What if he's afraid? Just scared. If he's afraid and scared, then I, I would understand that maybe he's yeah. prejudiced because maybe his past experience with picking up black people in this neighborhood no, uh, okay. turned out yeah. bad. So or his perception. Of yeah. being but, but everybody has prejudice. Weird. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. you have prejudice. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago, there was some actor who couldn't get a cab, some some black actor, and he was pissed off about it. Well, it was was it the story. Chappelle show where they had where yeah. they had a skit where there was a, a black guy, but he was naked and he would get he would it, he would hail a cab, but he couldn't get a cab and he was claiming because he was black or he'd go into a restaurant. So. There was somebody who did this. Yeah. 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 It was a black guy. And he was a good naked. Skit, he'd go in, he'd go into a fancy restaurant and he'd get kicked out. And he's like, it's because I'm black, but he's but he's naked at the same time. That's pretty funny. Gets kicked out of a nice hotel. No cab. Yeah, I don't know. It's um <clears throat> it's a weird situation. That's why I always think there's degrees of racism and some of it isn't racism. It could be like a prejudice thing. I've worked in the tip industry for twenty plus years. And so what do you have to say about that? I could honestly say because categorize they, races by tips. That's what you're gonna say. No, because I could. I, say? I could honestly say, um, like, if I was actually keeping, a, you know, a tally, a spreadsheet, yeah. Yeah. Statistically. Or a spreadsheet, statistically. So, no setup. Go on with the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, I, I, you know, some of my worst tips have come from, but not just black people. Um, Hold on, dude. I, what I, are you I, just honestly saying? Statistically, was the percentage of. I will honestly say, <laughs> fuck, I'm going to get killed for you this. You don't want to say no, that. You're not going to yeah. get killed for this because this is just your personal experience no, on yeah, the job. Generally, yeah. white oh, no, people will yeah, tip yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> when it comes to tipping. Now, I'm not saying every race tips terribly that's not white. That's not entirely true. I'm just saying, statistically speaking, if I was keeping a spreadsheet, 
I got better so tips. I have mostly a question though. People. So yeah, but, but, I know, but is that are you? And that includes Mexican, Asian, black. But are you? But what's the the population? Like, like what's the numbers like? Are you? Comparing a thousand white people. Hold, hold on, to, Steve. Hold that. No, you got, you got, no, hold no, that. This is just his anecdotal. Yeah, this is just his anecdotal. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying like percentage wise. We'll he didn't write out this right? down. He's so, just, like, <laughs> just the other day, I got a five dollar tip on a sixty four dollar tab. That was shit. So, race, so, what race was it? I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Come on, you have to say now. They were Sri Lankan, I think. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> they were so. No, I mean, yeah, they didn't speak English, it, it right? Was, it, it was it was a black guy. I have a question Antarctica. about Antarctica. So, and that was I, my only bad tip for the whole shift. I, I notice a lot of people who have had jobs where where tipping is involved. From what I've seen, my limited experience are, are actually are usually pretty good tippers. Um, how many, what, what percentage of people of different races have tipping jobs? Like, is it mostly white people ha- end up having, you know, um, going through jobs that most of the white people I serve do not have tipping jobs. Oh, they have adult jobs. Or, or no, have, okay, but, ha- but have they ever had? Yeah. No, um, I get what you're maybe saying. In I think college. anyone who's ever worked in the industry, maybe in college uh, would yeah. be more long time. More generous you would think to, that, but my wife who was a waitress for me, that's when I met her. Yeah. Dude, she was a shitty tipper. And yeah. then I I've, used to I've leave, met some people who tip shitty in the industry. I, I used really? to leave tips and she would take some we were dating that. Oh, time. too much. Oh, too much. <laughs> yeah, too much. And she would take it and then put it in her purse. Yeah. Like she didn't even give it back to me. Yeah. You could, you, you know. No, but it's a cultural thing. Because Japan, yeah. you tip in Japan, that's fucking disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, right? really? I didn't know. Yeah, that. you tip in Japan, like, hey, well, dude, you why look, are you giving me more money? I did not fucking, some places in Europe know. are like that yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So is it a cultural yeah. thing? But if you look, if you well, look, maybe well, not for black people. No, we're, 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 we're in America, so we're just talking about the American yeah, culture. Yeah, America. Okay, but if you look American. at the history of tipping, it is a racial thing. Not really. Uh, it started with the prohibition in America, anyways. Oh, maybe in general. But in America, tipping everything started with hookers. Nobody tipped that's in America the oldest, the oldest right? until yeah. Prohibition. Yeah. You would come in, you tip a little extra, so you can get some wine or some beer with your date. Or boom boom. And that's basically where tipping originated from America. That's bribing. Huh? I just learned that's boom bribing. boom actually. What you just went to Asia? No, in Mexico City, like two weeks ago. What'd you learn? Boom boom. It's like international for boom boom. Yeah, yeah <laughs> for America. Yeah, yeah. America. 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 Whoopee. <laughs> So I, th- I think we're going to be running out of tape here. Yeah, so that's right. Boom, boom, sir. This is the Vatican. Oh, so <laughs> international. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so glad, I'm glad all our, you know, we, we've had guests and we have a, a wide variety of opinions, which keeps yeah. things fresh around here. So let's, thank you guys for let, coming in. Let's give us a wrap up of everything we learned today. Today we learned about boom, boom. Let's start from the back and let's go to the front. <laughs> yeah. Like you're supposed to wipe. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Uh, I don't like We learned about boom, boom. What else did we learn about Danny? Degrees of racism. Um, white privilege. White privilege. <laughs> 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 Stevie. And racist. <laughs> well, <laughs> get, if you, if you National forget. anthem. National anthem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big uh, game, James. Uh, new genders. Oh, all about genders and who cares? Yeah. Dang, sure. that's kind of messed up. Acceptance for your... <laughs> So let's wrap it up. Thank you for listening to the Dirt Podcast. Tipping, Steve, thank you. He remembered something, Steve. The Primo Dirt Podcast. Why do you keep saying that? (laughs) Comment and like. (laughs) Comment and like. We have the Midanda brothers, Steve and Danny. Thank you for, uh, again, making it um, so colorful. Is that racist? (laughs) Yes, because you're probably... Because yeah, I'm the absence of color. Yeah. Johnny Peace, the creator, Dave Persley. And today we have Slum and Big Game James. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's. Thanks Happy Chinese in, guys. New Year's. Happy New Chinese New Year's. <laughs> yes. Is that racist? It's been an awesome, yeah. awesome no. New no, Year. No, it's very racial, though. It's very racial. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Very prejudiced. Racialist. <laughs> Thank you. The altar, she supposed. And on it was Hector. Is the throne empty? Is the king dead? The empire unpossessed! Off with his head. You got me going in circles.